before we wrap it up, let's do a quick segment on sports cards. Sure. Uh, this podcast, uh, yeah, the MVP podcast, it's mostly an avenue as well to help market the business that uh, Michael and I are doing, which uh, is which revolves around sports cards. And it's, I'd say it's a crazy industry. It's fun. You know, you can make money, but also, you know, you can lose money. It can be maybe even sad for some people if you're on the losing end. Um, but it's a nice hobby in general to get into, like, especially if you're doing it for fun. It can be a, it can be a sport. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, it's predicated on sports, so there's a lot of fun behind because it revolves around the players themselves. So, for example, like I'm there's sure certain cards for players, you yeah. know, and there's a certain fulfillment when, for example, let's say you have a, a card of Mbappe, right? <laughs> When you have a card of Mbappe and you see Mbappe like doing amazing, you just have this sort of extra yeah, I'm, I'm feel this now. Yeah. You will. I believe in you, man. Right? Like you feel like uh, your yeah. belief in that person is paying off. Like not just because that person is popping off in the games, that's number one, but number two, yeah. the value is also increasing. Chances are, you know. Yeah. Um, I'll give you an example like here. That. I'll share my screen, actually. Oh. Um, I'm really interested in this. Hold on. So I've seen sports cards, like, of players, and then these people sell them for, like, 20000 10000 It's crazy. Like, it's a, like, it's a crazy you, market. You'd, you'd, be, you'd be surprised <laughs> how, like, the prices of some cards. You'd be surprised. Yeah, I, I'd be like, yo, I can rip that and your 10000 is gone. Exactly. <laughs> That's what, some, that's what a lot of people think. Like, like this cardboard here is worth this. Much. Right. All right. So Why? you see this card? Look at, that, Look at that, bro. See my screen? No. <laughs> okay. So this Yo, Mbappe. Man. Card. Man. <laughs> man. Man, oh man. This Mbappe card is selling for 36,500 pesos, roughly, right now. Okay. And you would think <laughs> that's a crazy. Um, price, yeah. right? But what if I told you that's actually a price that's already on a discount? Yeah. If you look at it here, no, that, that, that's a steal. You see the chart? What? So if you look at it from last year, the left side, 2019, starting price of forty-one dollars. So that's literally two thousand pesos. <laughs> And, and the, but look at the peak though. Look at the Ooh. peak of what the sports card. Like stocks, kind of like in a sense. Yeah, look at it that way. If you look at the peak, it was all the way to one hundred fifty k. That is. <laughs> man, if I was balling, bro, I'd buy, I'd buy them cards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy. But then, if you look at the stats, yeah, like sure. just look at that. The lowest it sold for was 1,500 pesos. And at its peak, it went to 150K. But right now, it's sitting at 36K because sports cards have been cooling off a bit because it's, I'd say it's seasonal. Like right now, the, the market that's really hot is American football. Yeah. And, I have a question though. Yeah. What's up? Sure. If, if, Let's say I have a sports card of a player this year. Ten years from now, what's that sports card? Like, let's say that player retires. What is that sports card? Oh, when players retire, actually, the sports, the price become more stable. So, oh. uh, hold and on. Are these sports cards rare or you can just get them? Uh, like they, they make these cards and then they're only a certain number. Right. Can, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. We only made yeah. Mbappe twenty times. <laughs> twenty times. Whoever has them, you're lucky. Oh, you left. Could be. Oh. It could be something like that because um, it could be something like that because 
the cards have different variations. There we go. So it could go from like each brand has like their own color. But in general, there's like a base card, which is the, the most basic. Oh, form. basic. And then and there's the most the basic form. Like, there's, a ton of, there's a ton of copies that people could get. But then Seriously. in cards, usually the top would be like a silver. So like it has right. like hologram looking uh, thing. Yeah, flexing and, and something. That's, that's the most price. That's the most price you want for sure. That's like the highest form, the most valuable, probably the most rare. Right. Like anyone it's, can just print them, right? And remake them. Um, that's the thing. Right. Like, there's this thing called grading. Wherein, you know how when oh, people... Oh, like the bills? Uh, yeah, like, you know how when, like, antiques or vintage items have to be, like, examined to, to see if they're legit? Yeah. yeah, that's the same process with sports cards. It's called grading. Wherein it, the condition and authenticity is evaluated by professionals. So, if it's you see when when you see sports cards, you see uh, PSA ten, PSA nine. PSA is uh, the professional like sports card grading like, company. Yeah. yeah, grading company. So there's a they're the yeah. ones in charge. And then if it's a ten, it's essentially like a perfect card. Yeah. So those are the most valuable yeah. ones because. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's authentic. It's in perfect condition, and of course, those are the ones that sell for a premium. Yeah, it's it's pretty yeah. cool because you could just like you could have bought an Mbappe card last year for one thousand five hundred pesos, and then you can sell it, bro. <laughs> Joke. Exactly. Yeah. No, exactly. Really. Exactly. It's, it's it's an investment. It's an investment. Right. It's part of why you believe but, in the player because like you're investing. In him as well. Um, I have a question though. Do you play with these cards or it's just for, for it's, it's like collecting, a collecting. collecting. Yeah. Collecting. It's like so you yeah. don't you don't play these cards, do you? Yeah. Trading. yeah. We don't play it like a game, kind of like a Pokemon like a, game, you know? Yeah. You know how you can play Pokemon cards? Yeah, it, it's not like that for sports cards. Yeah. So sports cards are more like your investment with the card. Right. And with right. the with the person yeah. in the card. Yeah. yeah. So oh and I'm I'm seeing it differently now. It's like art. You know art? Right. When you yeah, know, yeah. It's yeah. a good example. Yeah, so yeah. Th- this is a that's wow, yeah. that's just opened me. Oh. Yeah. It's... Oh, you guys get me into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty when cool. I, when I, when pretty I find cool. a card for five hundred and it's lowest price and then for some reason it <laughs> ends up ten K, bro. Bro, bro, that's actually and in the card game, that's called a sleeper. So, you, mm. for example, a card of a player that's valued really low right now, but then it's called sleeper because, like, he's low key, like low key star. Like, for example, he's still up and coming. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like a rookie, a rookie this year, if he's not playing well, his card will probably be like, for example, like 500, 600. and then next season he goes. He goes on another level. He goes superstar mode. From 500, that can easily be 10, 20, 30k. Even with those stats of that card that was made. Yeah. Really? It works like that? Yeah. Like, what? It- um, like, the best example I can give would probably be... Okay, of course, you know how... It's going to be obvious uh, Messi and Ronaldo are going to be priced at a premium because... Of Yo, their... I'm sure they're like 200,000, man. <laughs> they, Yo. yeah, I think it's like hundreds of thousands already for the premium uh, Messi and Ronaldo cards. But there are affordable alternatives. But um, yeah, it, it basically kind of correlates, you know, skill, popularity, it correlates with the price more or less mm-hmm. so of course the best ones you have the messi's for the ronaldo's and then you have um you know a tier below maybe the mbappe's and yeah you have some a little bit of the affordable ones but you know who can really pop off like uh kevin de bruyne do, do these, maybe if these, ooh, if these cards become better do they do you guys enhance the cards or you just leave it with you how does that 
Mm. Well, you just buy you it and buy, then hold. Yeah, you, yeah, hold it. Yeah. And then how do you know if they're going to be sold for a higher price? Uh, eBay. The eBay, usually. Yeah, eBay. Because yeah. eBay is the biggest sites, marketplace. Yeah. 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 Usually, you can just search the card on eBay. Like, okay, if, if you have the card and then you feel at if you look at the back of the card and then you can just type in whatever the name of the card is type it in on eBay and then check the prices that's usually how you can stay up to date with the prices and it's it's crazy like how much the price can move just because of certain events i'd say Damn, like I'm just looking at them right now <laughs> $300? Like, <laughs> we got him hooked, Justin. We got him hooked, oh man. Oh, but it's fun. It's, it's a fun <laughs> yeah. hobby to get into, but you have to be careful, you know? Like, of course. As, it's just like that. As easy it is, as easy it may be to make money in the hobby, it's also easy to lose money if you're not smart with your decisions. Of course. You know? Like, of course. Sure. Like, imagine buying mbappe when it was at 150k and right now it's at 36k right so it's it's tough because sometimes the moves are so drastic stick right it's crazy so generally i stay away from like when a card is just increasing by hundreds of percent in a few weeks that's that's a little bit scary for me (laughs) i have a question Let's say you have a card right now, and then your card is a hundred thousand pesos. But then okay. tomorrow something happened. Like this guy is like complete, you know, trash. Yeah. Yeah. And like he, this this guy just, like you know, so bad. What happens to your card? Like, are you gonna still keep it, or like you're gonna say, yeah. oh, this card was on this day, was this much, but then today is just not today. <laughs> today is not a good day. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's part yeah. of the game. It's part of the yeah. game. Like, it's part of, like, timing is very crucial as well. Like, you just have to be patient with it. Yeah. Because I'm thinking if I get a card, I'm just going to display it, like, and then it's going to be, like, on this old glory, like, yo, uh-huh. this is for, like an art, you know? I can just yeah, it up yeah. on the floor. Yeah. 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 Sure. But, you know, there's, there's, there's risks, of course, because, yeah, it's, it's seasonal. Like, you know, the NBA also has its time when it's hot, especially, like, coming after the off-season. And then when things are about to start up again, it gets hot. Same with American football, baseball. And then when the season's over, yeah, st- uh, things start to cool down a bit. And it's a cycle that just repeats itself. So Also, it's always based on live performance for these cards. Most yeah, of the yeah, time, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's why, oh, wait, yeah. That just puts yeah. it in another perspective. Yeah. That's why when someone's retired already, you won't see drastic increases as much because, you know, people just can't watch that person anymore. Yeah. But it's it could increase over time because especially if, for example, let's say Messi just retires, his card will just definitely go That's up sad. over time. But, you know, it's not going to be drastic increases oh, anymore. Yeah. I see. Morris is a legendary card. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, but also, you have Imagine to watching a game injuries as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Imagine you're watching a game, right? And you're holding a card. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> somebody... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A good it's, it's fun. It's fun. Like, it's a new, there's a whole new world, huh? Yeah, it is. It is, man. It is. Like I remember, we got. Uh... You guys told me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna find a card. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right, we'll we'll hook you up. We'll let you know. Yeah, man. Just let us know. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own card. <laughs> and, you know, share it on yeah. eBay, and then you know who knows ten years from now. Yeah, it, it's just fun, <laughs> but just yeah, just be careful because, like for example, like. Like we we had the worst luck when we bought nice. we bought a Ronaldo card, but uh an unaf- unaffordable variation like we can't spend like uh yeah, <laughs> hundreds of thousands yeah. like we can't <laughs> afford the top of the line we we got an affordable alternative, and then a day after it was announced he got COVID, damn 
So like but it's just that was that was prices tough. went down. Prices went down. Prices went down. Go away just for yeah. that. I think it went down like oh, yeah. twenty to thirty percent in one night. That's mad. Just man. because of uh the yeah. COVID. So But this card is just a represent representation of it. Right. Exactly. Right. So I mean yeah, it happens. Part of the game. Mm-hmm. Injuries, mm-hmm. um, sicknesses. Wow. So, yeah. so it's basically no. a this card is living, bro. <laughs> in a sense. It could be, no. In, in a sense, sense yeah. 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 It's connected. To, it's that, really connected to the player. So that makes this whole thing appreciable. Now yeah, I see how wider prices are like. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It puts more love into so, the sport. Yeah. It, it makes it a sport now, you know, in this game, the yeah, sports cards. Because yeah, yeah. you just have, you know, more skin in the game. Right. Yeah. You have a and as a fan, someone. yeah. As, as a, a fan, fan well. and the knowledge of your, of what you what you have. Exactly. Right. Because yeah. right. you you probably know something that this person doesn't know, and by by over time, this guy is the one you have is the impeccable person. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's it's cool, you know. Like right oh, now, good. there's a lot of people you can get into because I'd say, the football market isn't as inflated yet as the basketball market. Just so, wait for me, yo. <laughs> <laughs> so we the get prices first dips on your autograph. I'm gonna, are relatively I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy all them. I'll buy all them cards, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and then like I'm, I have them, right? By the time the sports cards comes, bro, I'm balling, yo. Come, come. Uh, <laughs> NK, yeah. NKs, everyone. <laughs> It's pretty enticing to get into football right now because yeah, you have people like Ansu Fari, Kevin De Bruyne, who are still relatively affordable. They are. So yeah, like Hey, look out for Bruno Fernandez. Mm, okay. Noted, noted. <laughs> All right. I've seen that guy, bro. You know, be- quick fact, before he went to Manchester United, I, w- I was already watching this guy. And then when I heard news about him going to Manu, I was like, Manu, you don't understand who you, who you just got. Because no one, when he when he went to Manchester, no one knew who this guy was. But when dude, when he came, bro, he made Manu from six all the way up to the Champions League and everything. It was oh. If I had that card of him, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I have 50k right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's so that's your sleeper, huh? Yeah, that's right. my sleeper. Mm. All, right, all, right. all right, we got a there pick from there you have Mauro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, before we wrap it up, do you have anything you'd like to plug, promote, shout out? Hmm. Nothing much, but of course, I'm. I like to sell things. Of course, I'm gonna say I have muscle tapes, dietary products to help people during this COVID like and I also have a product where yo like this person in one month even without minimum like maximum effort or anything not even working out they can lose weight just because of taking this super fruits inside your system it helps you build your immune system and other a lot of other things so yeah that's that's what I'm just plugging in right now just hit me up if you want these products, mm-hmm. especially. What's that pill thing called, if I may ask? Which one? The 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 weight loss um, superfood. Oh, yeah. it's a it's not a pill. It's a sachet. Put it in a bottle. Okay. Drink it, or you can take it the sachet straight off your mouth after you eat. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and then I have another one where it's like that. You take it, and it gives you energy. You know those energy things you take in the gym. Right. So like the five, like the, the like small. for example, yeah, the small ones you take in the gym and you're so pumped and everything. But after that, oh. you have a bad crash, mm. right? Uh, this yeah, one yeah. I have is a healthy one. When you take it, you feel the energy, and it's gonna last yeah. so long. You're not gonna have a crash, and then you you know that in your system is a very healthy. Because you have superfoods. You know, superfoods are so hard to get nowadays. Yeah. You have to fly all the way to a certain country just to order them. Or if you order them, it's going to be so much expensive. So, yeah, having this in a sachet is like a... That's what I'm selling. So, Alright, right, there you have it. Uh, right, right. Where can people um, hit you up 
on social media? Oh, just type Mauro Akot, M-A-U-R-O, A-C-O-T. You'll find me, you can even find me in Google. It's so weird. <laughs> there's a lot right. of things. Like I, I, did, I did commercials and stuff before. Popular man, popular man. No, 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 not popular. <laughs> it, just hap- it just happened. I'm not popular. I'm not, popular. All right, all right. not even there yet. But yeah, you can just search me up, Instagram, hit me a message on Facebook. Yeah, that's all. All right. And uh, so there we have it. That was a really nice episode that we had. So yeah, guys, I just want to say that was our MVP, Mauro Akot. He talked us through a different side of the athlete, the one you guys don't really see, the mental game of it, your preparation, your determination. We also got into a little bit about his life. He's a dancer and a singer. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys okay, uh, we can't wait to see Mauro Akot on the football field once again definitely Bro, I'm a sleeper I just wait for it yes sir <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kidding. thank I you again Mauro for your time man thank, thank you, you. Thank All right, I really appreciate you guys for bringing me into this it's a nice talk right. out of this pandemic All right. All right. thank you thank you thanks guys alright that's a wrap oh um, we're done. Thank you so much for watching. If you dig that video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. And last but not least, don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any video.